Uh, my name is Matt Kranzler. Uh, I am from Bismarck, North Dakota, and I work at NISC National Information Solutions Cooperative. And what's your job title? Uh, software specialist. Tell us about your education. Uh, do you want to know high school or just college? Both. Okay. Uh, I went to high school in Bismarck High, graduated in 2006, and I uh, went to University of Mary, um, got my Bachelor's of Science in Computer Information Systems from there. So what do you do in your job? Um, I write software. How many hours do you normally work? Uh, normally I'd put in 40 hours a week, uh, 8 hour work days. Um, lately I've been putting in a few extra hours, new project we just kicked off. Um, kind of excited to work on it and we've got some deadlines so I've been putting a little bit extra hours in on that. Do you take work home with you? Uh, to answer the previous question, yes I do then because uh, for instance, this weekend I spent some time, you know, just catching up and that kind of thing. How would you describe the pace at which you work? Um, I would say that it varies. Um, depends on what's kind of going on. Um, when we have a software release, um, when we get close to that time frame where we need to get things tested, it gets a little more hectic. Um, generally, it's a little, it's pretty laid back though. Um, there's definitely deadlines, but um, as long as you keep on pace, you should be all right. It's just like I said, when you get to that that point when we get a, a software release ready um, to get things tested and everything, it gets pretty hectic if you're either behind or things crop up and you need to get them done quickly. So, How has your education prepared you for your career? Um, I would say that it probably gave uh, built a solid foundation. Um, I, I did intern here for um, about a year before I started here and I think that I learned you know, way more on the job than I did definitely in classes. but. Um, at least, you know, class gave me an idea um, of what to expect and then um, pointed me in the right direction. Why did you choose this career? Um, I'm always, I've always been interested in computers and um, I like to make things do what I want them to do. Mm -hmm. So writing software allows you to do that and um, I don't know, it just seemed like a fun career. When did you choose this career? Um, actually, I, I honestly didn't really cho choose a specific career until my senior year in high or in uh, college. Um, I had the option to either go networking or programming in, in college. And um, after taking a class with my current supervisor here, um, who taught the class out at Mary, uh, it basically gave me a better understanding of the job and um, made it a little bit more rewarding. And um, I switched um, after having that class. I switched what I wanted to do rather than going networking. I decided to go programming. So. What goals do you have in your career? Um, I would say um, just to continue to learn. Um, things are such, or things change so quickly, especially in technology and um, in programming. Languages change. You know, the newer things we got to learn. Um, my goals, I would say, would probably be just to keep learning. Um, never be, uh, never be, can't think of the word. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just. Like I said, keep learning and advancing. Um, you know, as as I go, I'd like to start to work on more, you know, um, leadership roles, that kind of thing, and be more of the mentor side. Other people, younger people, um, like people have been for me when I've been here, because there's a lot of things that you don't know when you come into a job like this, especially coming straight out of college, and without certain people to help you guide the way, then it's pretty hard to get going. What do you think it takes to be successful in this career? Uh, like I said, I think just always learning and um, not being set on or not being content where you're at. Um, like I said, everything changes so quickly and if you don't keep up with the times then you'll fall, fall behind and then you will not succeed. Do you travel for your job? Uh, not, no, don't right now. What do you find are the most difficult decisions to make? Um, I would say the most difficult decisions would be the ones that I am unsure of. Um, I mean, if it's something that you're confident in, it's usually pretty easy to, to make a decision on, but there are a lot of things, especially when you're new um, in a position that you aren't comfortable with or don't fully understand. So without having a good understanding of those types of um, things that you need to make decisions, decisions on, it, it's a lot harder to make decisions. Do you work independently or on a team? Uh, I work on a team. Can you give us an example? Um, well, the current project I'm working on is composed of five people, um, four or three other programmers, and then a team lead who is basically um, leading the project and telling us what to do and handing out responsibilities. And um, within within that project, there's actually two kind of sub teams: um, one for 
um, Android, one for iOS or iPhone development. And um, so the person that I'm working with on um, the Android side, he's kind of we're kind of a team, and we have to collaborate and you know figure out what we're going to do and who takes what um, to get our you know our to figure out what we need to get done. Um, so things like that, and then um, that's a very small team. I've also worked on teams which are a lot much larger. And um, one thing too, um, the current team that I'm working on, um, we have three people, the, th the other four people are actually in St. Louis, and I'm the only one in Mandan here, so it makes it tough to collaborate, but we do have um, video conferences sometimes, and also WebExes, which are you know, where I can see the sh their screen, and we can talk and collaborate at the same time, so that's kind of a challenge for me right now, is just trying to, you know, sometimes it's hard to hear what they're saying, so trying to keep in sync, but um, those types of things, um, you know, for teamwork-wise, having those types of technologies to be able to communicate outside of being in the same room makes it nice. And any advice that you would give to a high school student who thinks they might be interested in this career field? Um, I would say just learn as much as you can um, outside of class even. Um, a lot of the things that I've learned um, that I've been able to apply to my job here I've actually done outside of my time too, like working on an Android app outside of work. Um, that stuff I wasn't, I didn't learn um, in class, I didn't learn at work and because of that experience that I gained from doing outside of work I actually was able to um, be on this team because of that. So I think as much work as you can do outside of outside of actual work and outside of class, um, you know, just reading books, um, looking at guides online, um, whatever interests you, just keep keep um, learning and don't don't settle with what they give you in class, basically.